welcome to vim model viraj uh, in this tutorial we're going to watch uh, in rivet uh, show history option how to use these show history how to delete them so for whom it will be helpful i have come across with many students and uh, those who are studying vim as a subject and rivet as a subject or uh, the people who are working as a freelancer they want to hide somehow they want to hide the history option because their teachers or their boss they don't want to see how long or how many days they worked with them uh, so the benefit will go to the students and the uh, people who those who are working with if they want to delete the history how long they have worked and be deleted the other ways uh, the people who can learn how to use the show history and see that uh, how how many days the actual model did so with that how to use the uh, show history option go with uh, start new project have to have one project open so i'm going with any template for a tutorial purpose like okay the show history option is available under the collaborate tab history you can select any model already existing model that you have in the system you can open that it will show you the time stamp which is the digital footprint the how many days the dates and times exactly millisecond it will show along the model the modified by people used by this model also will be listed here commands will be appear only Working with the work shared model. So I will show you both the options, like with the simple model and the uh, work shared model saving options, and time save, uh, time stamp printing on this place. So this is how you will be able to check your model whether how long it is being used, or how long it takes. Saved. Let's say that it is a new project. You can save this model by pressing Control S. So it will be saved into desktop. Say for example, sample project and option. Let's give this as one. Okay. This show history option in that the timestamp will be created when you are creating or uh, uh, pressing the control S or saving the button, the save button. So now, if you go and use the show history and select the sample project. Open now. You will have a time timestamp as today's date and my name, which is on my system login. And if I close that. And if I do simply Control S, try it one more time. Select the model and open. It will print automatically in the milliseconds option. Second and forty forty seconds. It will there will be a difference. So this way you can see that how long the when the model it is created and who created it and like that uh, many options are there so you can use it for uh, tracking the model okay so now it comes to the part how to hide this option or how to uh, uh, avoid uh, showing these options you don't want to see the footprint of the model so for a secret purpose, uh, say for example, I don't want to reveal my name to the client side. So the client will ask me to create uh, a model without my issue. So in that case, you can use this simple procedure and you can avoid those options. Go ahead and create a website and select. So it will create your website with two templates don't have to worry about it we are creating a work sharing click ok not a problem so now the current model is not a standalone model it will be a work shared model enabled model we are working on the center model to so save this last year pushing control s after pressing control s so save this as a central model yes we want to save this as a center model So this also applies to the people who those who are working with a uh, central model and uh, if they are doing some modeling option for example drawing the wall creating the window possible they can do as 
they wanted. So I used to do workshop model with the T with that time so I can go ahead and do the synchronization option. So there is a two option. I used to use uh, this option at that time. There will be an option of command. So we see the uh, we saw in the table there is a command prompt. So a wall model window. So many people they don't use this actual synchronization option in the collaboration mode. It will be very useful uh, when you are syncing, if you are applying the command and if you are seeing that in the history, so you will be able to know that what what you have done in the next thing. Select OK and the model will be synced on the same central model we are working on the central. Now if you are trying to see this show history option, like open. Now you can see that ball model is you can it's a simple option that you can track the your progress. Client side they can track the, your progress how many days that you are working. So this will be very helpful. But that's the thing, that's a key point. Students they don't want to see that how many days they, they want to remove it. So just close it with that. We are coming to the part that uh, how to remove those fruits. Close this after syncing and saving the model. Go to the open option. Don't click the quick access model from the recent window. Use the open option, and from that you will be able to see the model in the desktop. It's a work shared enabled model. And if you click this detach, we are creating a new model from this one, and we are detaching from the central. Then we are opening it. So it will ask you two questions, whether do you need a workset or you don't need it. So in this case, I am working as a standalone. I don't need a workset in this case. If you, you can keep both options, anything you want. In this case, I will discard. It means delete the workset, keep the elements. Discard and detach. Now the model it has been created with the same uh, options available. So you will be able to save this model because it is a detached model. Save this model in any name that you wanted. So I will keep the same standard rule name. Backup as one. Save this. Now, work shared enable model is separate and this model is separate. So when you want to deliver this model to the client, without with remove your uh, footprints or you can uh, share this video, they can do this operation. They can delete my footprint because I saved this model. I must be having one footprint of my name. So this is the new model which we saved it, selected. You'll have one footprint of this. So you can share this video. They can delete it by using in their system so that the, the name will be removed. As simple it is, you can remove the footprint. So there will be a question then, uh, why can't we uh, copy and paste the uh, model to the new one, new uh, project? So it is possible, yes, but you cannot, you cannot delete, uh, you cannot copy all the uh, annotation detailing elements to the new project. It is better to create a detached model that is it automatically detailing, scheduling, everything comes under this. Second thing is that you can even link your project in this place and bind that so again you will lose your sheet creations and other detailing things you have to do uh, sheet copying and sharing the uh, templates uh, settings from the other project it is hard way again so this is the best way i think i use it many times so i hope uh, this helps in one or other way like uh, seeing the project how it is being created or to delete it. So, thank you so much for watching. See you on the other tutorial. Subscribe to the uh, channel and share with your learning friends. Happy learning.